Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Am I, maybe, not really? Nervous breakdown, Vlogmas Day 77? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't That was real. <laughs> I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, it's disturbing, I should be stopped, but I haven't. And I'm probably not gonna be, so. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, a couple of things off the top. It's snowing, so if you hear gleeful screaming, which could sound like someone's being chased, it's actually children. They're having a joyous time outside. And um, yeah, so if you hear that, no one is harmed. <laughs> it's just kids playing. I just want to preface that one right there. I'm excited for today's video because we get to talk about Lethal Cosmetics. You know, my child, Lethal. This year they have released a lot of products, which I'm... As a proud mom, I'm very excited for them. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the last few releases. Full disclosure, I'm on Lethal Cosmetics PR, so everything that is gonna be included in today's video has been sent to me. However, just because I received PR doesn't mean that I'm not gonna give you my honest opinion. And <laughs> I told you. <laughs> also, to be a true influencer, <laughs> I do have a coupon code. So if you're interested in any of the products that I'm talking about in today's video, please make sure to use the code garbage. This code will save you 10% off your purchase. Please note that I do not make any money off this code. This is purely just for y'all. An even bigger disclaimer, please never think that I'm pushing you to buy products. It's there for you if you want it, but if you don't want it, that's fine. I'm just leaving it on the table, y'all. With that said, let's talk about the palette first. The Velvet Dust palette retails for $47. A grunge-inspired shadow palette with 12 brand new matte, metallic, duo, and triochrome shades in our tried and true magnetic formula. So for $47, what exactly do you get? I have to say that I really, really love the front of this palette. One, I love the simple font. I love how it looks like a faded label. It reminds me of the font that I tend to use on my thumbnails. Now, I actually really, really love the actual design of the palette. When I used to commute in the subway, anytime there was a giant snowstorm, which is how apropos because it is snowing right now, the train's windows would have these little round marks. It's from the snow, dirt, salt, and God knows what else is on the outside window. All those elements make a cool pattern. And when you're actively trying to leave your body because you're watching a very fat man clip his toenails and one piece of shrapnel lands on a sleeping woman, well, you want to get lost. I have plenty of memories looking at the gross yet wonderful pattern on my way home from work. With that said, when you open him up, you get this lovely color story that is a mix of seven mattes, three shimmers, and two multi-chromes. And you also get this adorable mirror that says, don't be afraid to color outside the lines. So let's break it down by formula. The mattes in this palette are fantastic. I'm happy to say, and I feel like I say this all the time, I like that I know what I'm getting. I think for except maybe one or two shadows in the past that I experienced a little difficulty in blending, these mattes in this palette are wonderful. I found these shades had a little bit of kick up, a little bit of fallout, but overall very, very easy to clean. These blend like an absolute dream. Not once that I feel like the colors were getting muddy from mixing all this grungy goodness. The matte shadows have a very, very strong pigmentation and do not require a lot of effort to be built up. The longevity is awesome. I didn't notice any sort of cracking or fading or balding. These stayed on my eyes for, I wanna say, upwards to over 12 hours. Again, these shadows are very, very consistent to what I know from this brand. Now, as for the shimmer shades, they're so good. I love them. Lethal shimmers are definitely on the softer side. So while there is some kick up and some fallout and you kind of have a little bit of a glitter bukkake moment, I would say for the most part, they're very easy to clean. What I can appreciate about the shimmer shades is that they apply the same if they were dry or wet, which oh, it's so fucking good. I love that from this brand. However, for me, just to make sure things stay in place, I do use some glitter glue and with glitter glue, these shadows work fine. These shimmers blend so well into each other that you can create really, really beautiful gradients. Nothing overpowers anything. And it looks like the blend is just so seamless. Like 
these shadows really, really do the work for you. I love that these shadows, when you are mixing them into each other, you can see the dimensions within the shade. I didn't experience any sort of longevity issues when layering the shades, and because I was layering them so much, I didn't notice any weird texture that sometimes shimmers can do when you're layering too much stuff on it. Kind of creates like this very weird, like, I don't know, almost like a, just, plaster kind of a look, you know what I'm talking about? These shimmer shadows are very, very smooth, so everything looks so seamless. Again, this formula in this palette is very similar to what I have in my collection already. Now let's talk about the multi-chromes. Out of this whole palette, ugh, unfortunately, they were my least favorite shades. So let me kind of give you a baseline here. When I hear multi-chromes, I expect a crazy fucking shift. I'm expecting earth shattering color for days, bitch, okay? That's my expectation. I want to look like I have an acid trip on my eyes. These, they are not that. The purple shadow called Revolve. It's supposed to have like a purple blue to red shift. I didn't see any of that. This shade also is chunky city, like chunky. There is a great amount of fallout when using the shade. It's a weird shade because while I can't really see a shift, if you look really closely, you do see some blue glitter within the shade. And I find that when you start layering the product more, it starts to become more of a darker purple. The color is fucking beautiful. It's really, really pretty, but it's not what it's advertised to be. So if I have more of a sheer application, I could kind of see like a, light purple, oh, I'll, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. A good test I find with multi-chromes is that sometimes it's really hard to tell on camera, but if you have a mirror, you can actually see the shift that way. And yeah, I don't see a shift. I could potentially see maybe a pop of magenta, but like, it's not really, it's beautiful, but it's just like, it's not what it was described as. And the more that I apply the shadow, the deeper the purple goes, which again, it's still, still a very beautiful color. To so kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna take one of these multi-chromes from Divina Cosmetics, which is another wonderful company. I tried to find something that has like a purple because there's another one that has a green shade and you can kind of see the shift more in that. So the two on the outsides are from Divina and the middle one is from Lethal Cosmetics. So yeah, while I can't really classify it as a multi-chrome in my eyes, as a duochrome, it's a beautiful shade. Or even a metallic, actually. It still, it performs beautifully. It had great longevity. It was very easy to work with, very easy to blend out. It was just a little messy. So the other multi-chrome in this palette is a shade called Covet, which is the one up here on the top row. And this shade is supposed to have a shift from red, copper, and gold. And I think out of the two shades, I could actually see this shade way more clearly than the other, but still the multi-chrome is more on the light side. Now, when I compare this and the other shade Revolve, I didn't experience any sort of chunkiness or any crazy amounts of fallout. But overall, this again was another shadow that was easy to use, easy to blend, and I didn't notice any fading with the shadow. It's just that the shift was there, but like you really had to like, fucking look for it. If you kind of catch the light in a certain way, you could see it more clearly. But compared to other multi-chromes that I have in my collection, these are definitely on the weaker side. I really love how grungy this palette is. And I love that this palette is kind of the best of both worlds for me. I have my grunge, but at the same time, I also have my neutral shades too. There is a lot of versatility within this palette. And I don't feel like I need to grab for something else to complete a look. You can get a lot of use out of this palette. And honestly, ever since I got this palette, I've been playing with this almost every other day because I just find myself reaching for it again and again and again. I really do enjoy this palette. It's just disappointing that I was expecting a little bit more in the multi-chrome department. And while yes, they're not the multi-chromes that I'm used to, they're still workable shades and you're still able to create your looks with them. So it's not what I thought it was gonna be. So I think if you're interested in this palette, you won't be disappointed at all because you can create a lot of fucking cool looks with this. But if the multi-chromes are a deal breaker for you, what's nice about this brand is the fact that you can design your own palette. So you can actually get this exact palette or you can choose from one of their other palettes or their other palettes. <laughs> and you can actually design your own color story. So if you want to create something with the grungy color story, or say you want some of the shimmers from the After Dark palette, if there's something that you think this palette should have, you have full control to change that. And that's what I love about this fucking brand. Anyway, so I look forward to their next release on Multichromes because I want to see where exactly they're going to go with all the feedback they have been receiving. Granted, I haven't been watching a lot of reviews because I don't want it to ever like taint my little brain. So I'm curious to see if other people feel the same way that I do. So the next product I want to talk about are these Side Effects Gel Liners, which are these little bubbies right here. Lethal came out with these liners in July, although it feels like eight years ago, I'm not gonna fucking lie. And they were released with the After Dark Collection, which is the 90s fucking Nickelodeon inspired palette that I love so much. Oh my God, so good. 
So with this palette, they release a lot of liners. And if you want to see more like full in-depth thoughts, I'll link my video up in the corner here so you can check it out. But uh, rest assured, everything I said in that video is pretty much true to what I'm going to say in this video. So I don't feel like fucking repeating myself. But these are fucking everything, okay? Thank you. <laughs> this is like one of the best things I've fucking tried this year. I think out of all the products that Lethal has come out with this year, who am I kidding? All of them have been fucking home runs for me. These are like the true standouts. They are so fucking good. If you have sensitive eyes and you're looking for something to stay within your waterline, look no further, bitch. Lethal got you. These liners are so creamy, pigmented. They're easy to layer whether you want to create beautiful ombre looks or just create a new color. Or sometimes you fuck something up and you think a color is going to look good in your waterline and you realize it doesn't go with your eye look. You're able to kind of erase your mistake in a sense. I would say majority of these are so opaque that you can layer it on top of existing eyeliner to completely remove that color. I would say some of like the lighter ones like maybe like yellow. You have to do like maybe a couple of coats to it, but for the most part, all of these are one coat and you're good to go. Now, what I love about these liners in particular is that they obviously match the grunge appeal that is the Velvet Dusk palette. So you get these really beautiful colors. So in this collection, you get the color Hurt, which is this beautiful yellow brown color. It is by far my favorite fucking shade. It's so goddamn good. Then you have Threshold, which is a lovely peacock teal. Q is a very gothy blood red color. And Phase is a gorgeous deep berry. As I said before, these are just so wonderful. But I think the true standouts out of these four for me is the shades Hertz and Threshold. It's hard not to use anything else. They make every bland eye look that I have been making lately because I've been living my 35 year old fantasy and living my mutual fucking dream over here. These are the things that make your eye looks pop. I don't know, there's something about the Hertz shade. I have been trying to find like a really good mustard color and I really love the Glossier Play Pencil, but sometimes I just want it to be like a little bit darker. And I remember I tried a Melt Cosmetics pencil in the shade Baked, I believe, and it was the worst fucking thing I've ever tried. Still, I'm getting flashbacks on why I don't like it. This this is the color that I wanted. It's just such a beautiful yellow brown color that just, if you have blue eyes, <laughs> makes your fucking eyes pop like a motherfucker. Oh my, and it's so, so good. I love this one. Anyway, I cannot stress how much I love these eyeliners. They're so fucking good. And I'm just so happy that the formula has been consistent and everything has been staying the same. I find myself reaching less and less for pencils and more with these gel pot liners because I just love the longevity of them considering I have very sensitive eyes and I'm crying for days, y'all, because 2020 has been a fucking hot mess. Now, with that said, I've never really put them above the lash line because I'm just not good at wings or anything like that. And that's just not my cup of tea. But but from what I have seen from my beautiful colleagues here on YouTube, they do make some beautiful like graphic liner looks. You can do that with these. It's just, I'm not that fucking talented. <laughs> I'm more of like a waterline bitch and that's it. So, <sighs> so rest assured, I'm here to let you know that sensitive eye folks, these are good to go. But if you wanted to do something crazy with some graphic ass shit, you can do that with these liners. I could continue to keep talking about these liners and how much I love them, but we're gonna stop. We're gonna put a pin on it. I'm gonna keep it moving because now we need to talk about their fucking face products. Because I don't know if you noticed though. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why you turned into like a fucking Valley Girl today. When they released their promotion video, they had a little clip of me in there. I know. I was like, oh my God, maybe I should copyright strike them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I literally shit myself when I saw that. I was like, oh my God, I'm special. All right, anyway. Let's talk about some face products. Lethal, lethal, lethal. Lethal fucking out of nowhere was like, hey bitch, we're going to bestow upon you some bronzer, some blushes, and some fucking face palettes. So Lethal was kind enough to ask me what I want, which is really nice because it's not wasteful for me to get a bunch of products that I wasn't going to use. So I chose the things that I knew that I wanted to try. So you know what? Let's talk about the blushes first. In their initial launch, there are 10 shades, but in today's video, we're only gonna be focusing on five of those shades, since those are the shades that I felt like were uncooked chicken friendly. However, for my pumpkins that have deeper skin tones than me, I'm gonna link down below Karen Harris's video. If you don't know Karen, Karen Harris is, she's a little, look at her, she's adorable. Like, how can you not love her? Karen is another lover of lethal, and she'll be able to provide you with her experience with these products. And then tell her, I said, hey girl, hey. Anyway, these blushes are described as, whether it's a soft wash of color or a precise definition you're after, our magnetic face powers put you in control and give you exactly the right amount of pigment at the right time. No blotchiness or patchiness, just effortless perfection. And it's true. It's so fucking true. I found these blushes to be incredibly pigmented. 
So I think it's best to go in with a light hand to build up your desired coverage. It's the kind of blush that you shouldn't swirl your brush in the pan. Gentle tapping motions and tapping the excess off will be your friend. So whether you want a light wash of color or you want to fulfill your e-girl fantasy, you can achieve that with this product. I didn't find one blush should be better than the other. In my experience when playing with these blushes, they were pretty much were exactly the same across the board. I love a consistent bitch, can I tell you? While these blushes are incredibly pigmented, they are incredibly easy to use and incredibly easy to blend. They melt into your skin so perfectly. They have amazing longevity and they're also really, really fun to mix. In particular, I loved the yellow and orange shade. When you use those together, they give you a beautiful warmth to the face without turning you into a fucking Cheeto. I'm so impressed with the formula that I find myself reaching for it time and time again. I enjoyed my experience so much with these blushes that I'm actually going to after this video. I'm gonna be purchasing the lavender blush as well as two of the darker blushes. There's a beautiful mauve and a berry color that I'm like, I gotta fucking try it. I need to see what it looks like on my face. <laughs> Plus I kinda need that prismatic palette. It's calling my name, so. Yeah. Anyway, if you do want an update on how those blushes do work for my skin tone in a later video, let me know and I will totally do a video. I'm so fucking excited to be picking them up. So let's move on to the bronzers. Letha released eight bronzers, but I have four of them in my possession. Two of them as singles, which are these guys right here. And then I have two of them from the face palette. I feel like I can get away with three out of the four shades. However, the darkest shade I have, which is called Terrestrial, you know, when I was swatching it and when I was using it very, very lightly, I can get away with it, but it can be like a touch too dark for me. So I kind of have to be mindful when playing with that one. But what I like about that Terrestrial shade is, is that it's an actual proper cool tone bronzer. I think it's just better for someone who has like more light to medium skin. With that said, these bronzers, fuck. I fucking can't. Like these are fucking, fuck me up. I love them. These bronzers are described as inspired by the natural luminosity of your skin. These face powders are carefully formulated to create a dimensional matte finish that never looks flat or dull. Each face powder is micronized for ultra smooth application to seamlessly blend into any makeup base or your bare skin. All right, y'all know I'm very picky when it comes to bronzers. I'm usually a ride or die for my Tom Ford. I know I'm just that bitch. But dude, fuck, these are, oh my God, like I love them so much. I love them so much. And I think it's because I finally found a really good, true cool tone option that doesn't make you look dead. <laughs> Which again, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't wanna look dead. <laughs> I mean, don't I? Oh my God, do you imagine Teresa's dead exposed? She doesn't wanna be dead. Do you imagine what the Twitter would say? The Twitter, what? You sound like my mother, fuck, okay. I know I said that the liners are my favorite product, but I don't know, like the bronzers are really like creeping in there. It's so hard because they're just so fucking good. And for $14, I'm like losing my mind. They're so pretty. <laughs> it's funny because I practically have used them every day since I received them. And for a while there, I've been using the Midas Cosmetics face palette, which is another great face palette. Oh my God, that one's so fucking good. But then of course I have my Tom Ford, which I'm just obsessed with. The shade Quartz is an actual cool tone bronzer that doesn't make you look dead, or it's not a wolf in sheep's clothing, meaning it's cool, and not a single shred of warmth can be found within this bronzer. It's pigmented. Again, it's best to tap your brush into the pan, tap the excess, and then build and blend. This blends like an absolute fucking dream. It's not like that fucking Gucci bronzer where it's so pigmented that it actually is such a pain in the ass to blend. This, you can blend. So even if you feel like you did go a little ham, which I know today I kind of went a little ham because I was having way too much fun and I wanted to pretend like I went on vacation. <laughs> but I love that even if you do look like you're going a little bit of ham, you can definitely blend it out. This bronzer melts into your skin. Another product that has great longevity and incredibly easy to use. And it's 14 fucking dollars. I cannot believe how much I love this fucking product for $14. I feel like an asshole for buying backups of the Tom Ford bronzer. I'm going to stop that because I'm just going to buy backups of the Lethal Cosmetics. I want to call it a day. If you're looking for a proper cool tone bronzer, definitely check this one out. Of course, I tried the other ones that worked well with my skin tone. And I'm happy to say that my experience with all of the bronzers have pretty much been the same across the board. These powders work well on the skin. I love that it doesn't sit on top of your face. It actually melts in. It's just so hard to use the other bronzers when I know quartz exists. <laughs> It's like I don't see anything else. I'm like, Quartz, is that you? When I place my order for the other blushes, I'm probably gonna buy two more Quartz shades. I need backups and I need them now. 
I will say though, that there have been a few times where I've used the quartz shade as a contour and then use the shade quicksand. And using those two together, oh my God, utter fucking perfection. That's amazing too. And it's actually what I kind of did on my face today a little bit, but I really went ham <laughs> with the fucking quartz one. Cause I was like, I love this so much. Anyway, I love that you can combine the shades and they all blend and melt beautifully together. I highly recommend checking out the bronzers. Finally, I'm gonna briefly talk about the face palettes since we just talked about the bronzers and the blushes and you know how much I fucking love those. I think what makes these palettes stand out are the highlighters that are attached to them. Unfortunately, these highlighters are exclusive to only the face palettes. <sighs> There's something about the highlighter that's in the Vernal palette, which is for light to medium. It gets me so fucking hard. It's what I have on my face today. I'm obsessed. Now the other face palette I have is, I believe it's called Boreal, Boreal? Boreal? Probably saying that wrong. And this is for the fair skin folks. And you know what? This is great too, but there's something about this fucking highlighter in this palette that's like, oh my God, it's so, so fucking good. It's so good. This highlighter is so wet, it's like an alien slut dream, okay? Now, I love Lethal's highlighters. I have them sitting in front of me, and I think they're wonderful. I will say, though, they're more on the demure alien slut side, okay? They're not super blingy, but they're a beautiful formula. It sits well on the skin, and I fucking love it. This, though, holy fucking shit. I, I'm obsessed, obsessed. Has to be one of my favorite highlighters I found this year. I love this highlighter because it looks like I took a fucking McRib and just <laughs> just smeared it on my face and left this beautiful glow. <laughs> it's so shiny and glossy and it brings a nice warmth to the face. Think of it like that four o'clock glow. It blends beautifully into the skin without creating any sort of weird texture. This is blinding, this is everything. With that said, the rest of the face palette, it's great, it's fine. You're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're Linda Evangelista. We love her, but the highlighter though, Fuck, sign me the fuck up. Now, if I could make my own dream palette and use the quartz bronzer, the nectar shade of blush, which is in the lightest face palette, as well as the highlighter in the vernal palette, which I think this one's called Chromosphere, I think that would be the most amazing face palette to ever be made. And if it would be called Garbage Person, that would just make it that much better. I love these, these are really, really great. So the only thing I will say about this though is that if you want to create your own face palette, if you want the highlighter though from these palettes, that's not an option. Maybe one day it will be <laughs> because everybody fucking needs to have this highlighter, it's so good. So maybe if we just bully Lethal into doing that, maybe we can get one. Anyway. <sighs> I love Lethal, they're so fucking great. Now I wanna hear from y'all, let me know down below if you are interested in picking anything up. If you have, if you haven't, if you wanna see me review something else, blah, 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 let me know down below, cause I love hearing from y'all. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patrons. I love your adorable little chubby cheeked faces. I just imagine you're all little Campbell Soup kids out there little red cheeks and throwing snowballs and hitting other people with them and laughing maniacally. Anyway, I love your little faces. <laughs> and I want to say thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, cold, and snowy garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. If you want to know what's currently on my face along with where to get all of these products that I mentioned in this video, as well as my podcast and my holiday merch and blah, 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 everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.